resource management is what makes a good project manager. Often when I see plannings, I see that resource management is leading to over allocation, like I have it here in this project. This is normal. To have an effective and useful resource management, you will need to resolve those over allocation and of course baseline your project. We are going to look together what MS Project is providing us as tools to help us in resolving those issues and performing an excellent and yes I said excellent resource allocation. I'm Christian from Vision 6D and this video you can watch it in isolation or you can watch it after you watch the first module on resource allocation and over allocations. When I got involved in the project of the design of a new PTZ camera, there were resources over allocation. I've taken here a subset of what we did in the project. It's a simplified version that you can see the situations that we have here down of over allocation. This over allocation is here in the situation where we have one tech writer in charge of several parts of the documentation. And those things are happening at the same time and that's the reason why we have over allocation. Among the tools that MS Project is proposing us to solve this, I'm going here up into the report and among the reports there are the resource reports and a specific one about over allocated resources. The presentation of that report is really simple. You see here a resource, the tech writer, which is the one that has over allocation. You see the involvement of that resource in the project. And here on the right side, you see a schedule, a timeline where you see at certain moments an increase of activity. Those are the moments when they are over allocation. This diagram allows a quick identification of resources in over allocation and determines overload periods. By giving a closer look at the report, we see here that MS Project is suggesting us to use the team planner. So I'm going to select it and we see when you launch the team planner we find a first part where we have all our resources here and then we have here the schedule with the planned tasks. This is really convenient because uh, it's a good way to have a global view on what's happening. Now we see that the tech writer is in red. This is here to tell us that there is an over allocation. So I don't have a way to get quickly to the overallocation. I'm scrolling through the timeline to find where are those overallocations. And of course, I know that they are at the end of the planning, but I recognize them because they have those red squares and red lines going through them. This shows that they are overallocations on those periods. Now, if we look at the menu, the top bar, I'm currently here in what is the team planner format. And there I have a few buttons, but there is one that interests me particularly. It's prevent over allocation. So I'm going to click and MS Project is going to solve me that over allocation. So you just saw that what MS Project did, it's that it took the second task in over allocation, looked when the resource was available and moved the task to that next availability. 
and he did this you saw with test documentation and he did it also with the user documentation of course in this situation the tech writer will have to work three times more in this project it's not exactly what i want for the moment i just come back here because i want to show you that there is another pass where you can get the same result you go to the tech writer here you right click and you have the function level resource i'm clicking on it and no surprise exactly the same happens so i was saying that in this project um, we would like to have the tech writer to work at the same time on those three tasks so once again i'm coming back the situation in this project is like the one i find in many other projects that is to say that you have a resource that has to do several things at the same time so our tech writer will in fact work 20 percent at the documentation for the development 20% at the documentation for the test and 60% on the user documentation. So how am I go going now to say this to MS project? So the first thing I'm going to do is to open the information by double clicking on the task. And here within the information, I can go to resources and we see that our resource was there set as 100%. So I'm going to reduce this to 20%. And you saw that the costs were 12,000 euros. So I'm saying here, OK, and let's see what happens. Oh, we see that the work of the tech writer has been prolonged and started way earlier. So what's going on? Is this something unusual? Not at all. It's MS Project's way to consider your changes. MS Project considered that the tech writer for the first task had to put in 160 hours. Since we reduced the capacity to 20%, MS Project calculated a prolongation of the duration it augmented the duration that we still have those 160 hours so of course this is not reflecting what i want to say so there is one thing that i need to change within the definition of this task so i'm going here to come back go back one step and i'm going to open the task and that one I will go within the advanced information and in there we see that there are task types and actually it's defined as fixed units we see that there are three different possibilities I could say a fixed duration fixed units or fixed work this is to indicate to MS Project the way it has to calculate when we either do changes on percentage, on duration, or on work. So in my case, what I want, it's a fixed duration. We want those four weeks to stay fixed. So I'm saying here, OK. And if I simply say this, you see that we don't have any change. But that first task has moved from fixed units to fixed duration. So I'm going back now to, to the task and now I'm going to do the same change that I did previously. It's to set it to 20%. I'm saying OK. And we see here that we don't have any change. So no prolongation. So this is a good sign. If I come here up, and I'm looking at the details of the work, we see that it is now 32 hours. 32 hours is the 20% of 160 hours. So by curiosity, I'm going now to look at the Gantt chart. So I can directly come here, you see. And if I go down, 
give you the possibility to look a bit at the Gantt chart, we see that still all our tasks are defined with the red uh, man, meaning that there is over allocation, where are we see that the tech writer for this task is now reduced to 20% and this is also notified within the Gantt chart. So we have managed to reduce, but it's clear that we still have two tasks that are in over allocation and this makes our dev documentation also being in over allocation. So now I could go back to the team planner to do the change for the next task, but I'm going to do it directly from here. So I double click on um, the test documentation task. You see that it is the same windows that opens and I'm g also going directly into advanced, going to select fixed duration and our resource, we said it's also going to be 20%. So I'm saying, okay, closing this. Happily, you see that the two times that we use the tech writers is now both times at 20%, also on the Gantt chart, but we still have over allocation. Of course, you got it. It's because we have a third task and the sum of those three tasks is still in over allocation for that resource. So the last change, the last adaptation, I'm going back to the team planner and here inside I'm taking the last task. And once again, it's the same window that pops up. I go into advanced. I also want their fixed duration. The only difference is that I want here to work, I want the tech writer to work at 60%. So we have 20 plus 20 plus 60, 100%. We distributed its 100% over those three tasks. And we see here that we don't have any more any red vertical bars. And here also the tech writer has become in color uh, normal color, no more in red. If I go to, to have a look at the Gantt chart to, to see what uh, happened there, we see that the green, the red <laughs> men have disappeared. Uh, we have a correct repartition of work between the different tasks of the tech writer 20, 20, 60. And this is also reflected in the Gantt chart. Now, let's not forget that we went into the team planner coming out of a report. So let's go back to look at resources and see the over allocation report. And with no surprise and a great happiness, we see that all the hours that were over allocated uh, disappeared and we don't have any more any period on the timeline which is spotted as having over allocation. We've just seen how to resolve over allocation with the part-time method. In the next module I'm going to show you how I solve slightly more complex over allocations issue using the resource usage tool that we find in MS Project. It's Christian from Vision 6D and it's a pleasure for me always to share those knowledge with you. I wish you a good time. See you soon. Bye-bye.